Hi there folks, good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh, 10 p.m. here right now in Dhaka. Um, today, uh, it's supposed to be winter night, but not that cold. But I'm wishing you everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, those who are celebrating, right? So I have a couple of uh, episodes I want to do. I've already covered the Christmas episode. Hope you watched it. Hope you got some of the fragrances. Hope you tried some of them. But today I have one individual, re one individual review and then also have a list. Uh, it's going to be a major list, by the way. Uh, you'll see. So first episode, I want to get that individual review out of the way, which is going to be, as you can see from title, um, an affordable fragrance for women, which is called Green Tea Pomegranate, Pomegranate uh, by Elizabeth Arden. Okay. So this, I think, is one of the many flankers of the original, which I always love and have, which is called Elizabeth Arden Green Tea. Such a classic, I think, Mason, like, not Mason, uh, Francisca K was the nose behind it. I, I could be mistaken, but the flanker here is done by another master perfumer who is also, I think, doing some of the John Verbito's fragrance, okay? So, we'll see. Uh, so, I have Fragrantica open just for the notes, references, but I'll tell you it's a very nice, long-lasting, fruity, uh, fun, kind of like a carefree kind of fragrance. If you like fresh, fruity, sweet kind of perfumes on a budget, please check this out. And even, even if you're a man, this line, I feel, is very, very solid, okay? I'll talk about that. So, packaging here is a very simplistic, minimalist packaging. If you go to shops, they have usually a whole lot of these uh, Elizabeth Arden green tea uh, flankers and these are very flimsy kind of packaging but their colors will be different. So some of them are heat, some of them are mist. Some of them I really, really liked, like the tropical, I think that was the name. Uh, and then they had a few of the other ones I really liked but some of them were kind of like too much, you know, they're like overbearing or not so nice like a, I think there was one, um, I don't remember what it was but I, I found it very off-putting. But this one I tried and upon trying I really liked it. Back in the day these used, these used to cost 10 12 dollars. Now uh, then they went 15. Now they're selling I think in Bangladesh for 20 something dollars. Like it went above 20 dollars. So still considered cheapy for uh, 100 mil. 200 uh, sorry uh, 100 mil. 20 dollars is not a very big price budget. Okay. So this is how that looks and doesn't have really like a original green tea. It used to come with this uh, whole sort of a thing on the box. But this one doesn't have. I believe they put the picture of the fruit and some florals and still it's going to have some DNA of the tea, which I believe is Earl Grey. So that's the packaging. Nothing much going on here. That's what it looks like. And these are made in States, I think. Where are they made in? Made in Spain, okay. Oh, I, I thought these to be made in USA. The bottle here, very, very simplistic. If you see these back in the days, why I sell opium for women or why I sell opium for men, they used to use this kind of bottles. I find them very nice. They look affordable kind of they look like their price okay so if there's nothing fancy going on here but i really like the color combination it's a transparent bottle the cap is pink girly and that's how that looks like and the cap for me is very very tough on this i don't know why some of them are really really difficult i'll show you the difference okay let's say i want to take out the cap of hope i don't drop anything today uh this one this one is a bit easier but again some of them could be a little bit tighter so this is the problem with this a little bit, but not a major issue. Oh man, sometimes it is major, <laughs> it is a major issue, sorry. And it's kind of flimsy like that. And the atomizer here, if you look, it's gonna look cheap, okay? It's a cheap perfume, what do you expect? It doesn't have a neck cover or anything like that. Atomizer is good, by the way. I mean, like, for the price, it does its job. Dry down is here. Eh, you cannot complain, it shoots this much, but it's a bit hard to spray. So apart from the presentation, the price tag and everything, let's talk about longevity as this one settles down on the paper. This one has solid longevity. I got like four to five hours from it. Green tea on me, the original one, that lasts like seven hours plus. And that's a surprise from that fragrance because that one I find very, very close to also my favorite, very favorite. Nowadays I'm mumbling, I don't know why. <laughs> it's not funny. But uh, then the Nishane Oolong Cha, is a very expensive niche perfume and they have quite a few tea-based perfumes which are not very long-lasting but green tea elizabeth arden the original one always found it very soothing there's a green tea note and there's like citrus you know very nice light mask very pleasant kind of a fragrance i think men love to wear this too and this is a classic one of the best in this budget segment so some of the flankers are very good but i never found anything better than that is this better than the original i would say it's a nice little extension. I really like the fruity red fruit, you know, on the top of the green tea, which will pop in a bit, but opening is pomegranate, passion fruit, tangelo. I don't know what that is. I heard tangerine, maybe one kind of orange. 
Then they have bergamo. Mill notes are argray tea, violet leaves, davana, white magnolia. And then the base they have raspberry bloom. Don't know what that is. Maybe the flower uh, of the raspberry fruit. Uh, mate or mate. I don't know what's that. Actually, I always see this note. It's perhaps like an energy drink sort of a note or something you put. It gives you energy in a drink. They used to give it to, I think, some of the... Uh, is it, if my memory serves me right, some of the football teams in Latin American countries, okay, for energy boost. And then there's moss. So most prominent note from this, I get the red fruits. It doesn't really exactly smell like pomegranate to me. I love that fruit, but it smells like a red fruit, like a jello, okay. And some people say Kool-Aid, you know, like uh, there's a drink, I think, yeah. So basically it has the artificial flavoring. It's very sweet. It's very sweet, playful, fresh at the same time. Um... To some people, I would say, if you're looking for a natural smelling perfume, this is not it. Some of you feel like this is very cheap smelling, synthetic, uh, sweet mess. Okay, I'll tell you. But for me, I wear many kind of fragrances for the price bracket. What this one offers, I absolutely see no problem with it. Uh, it's like a fun summer day, springtime, you know, mild cold weather, so you can wear it. Basically, the dry down will go to this tea leaf, okay? And that's what this is all about, okay? So the other fancy notes around it. They have, you know, like they add cucumber, this and that. Some of them are very off-putting for me, you know. Um, green tea. There was, I cannot remember this one particular green tea flanker. I did not like at all. It was very sour. It was very bitter, you know, at the same time. Yeah. Uh, so this one, compared to many other flankers, is one of, one of the good ones. So if you're a lady and looking for something uh, in the market, try this one in particular. If they have like 10, 20, this one is going to be better than the rest of them. So as I told you, performance is pretty okay with it. But on the warmer days, this one performs better. Uh, casual usage, office wear, I think this is going to be a bit too sweet. Gym, a bit too sweet. Everyday wear outside, you know, if you're going to go out shopping and don't want to put something very expensive, you don't want to break your bank, you're on a budget. Great fragrance to wear. And the dry down is pretty much like a refreshing uh, green tea. Okay. So, Argre tea, mm, not, not so much metallic vibe that I get from this. It doesn't smell like Argre tea. It smells like green tea, you know, like already it is. But those fruity flavors, you know, simply put like this, okay? Some of the teas like uh, Ahmad tea, okay? Or, uh, you know, that we get uh, in Bangladesh. I used to buy a lot of tea in, from UK, uh, Ahmad tea. And there was other ones, man, I forget, Yorkshire. Uh, was the major one? I'm trying to think. Always buy from there. The most uh, expensive tea bag, sort of. They have the best tea all around. Mm. And I'm not going to go get my boxes. <laughs> But, you know, there's like some of the best tea. Let me guess. I will get it. Wait. I don't know why I cannot remember this name. I drink this tea quite often. It's called Twinings or Twinings. That I just open Google and I just literally type the best tea brand. That's the first one suggested. So if you know some of the Twinings or Ahmad tea, some of the British tea brand of Tetley, uh, they sort of like have these flavored tea bags, you know, or the ones that you have like small, small boxes, like five of each flavor. This one smells like those tea, okay? So if you like sipping on those tea, you can enjoy the fragrance side by side. This is basically a uh, perfume uh, representation of the uh, tea bags, okay? Something like that, fruity tea. And it's very playful, okay? But do not expect like a mind-blowing performance, mind-blowing compliments. Not gonna happen. It's just a great casual wear uh, with a fruity tinge, okay? Overall, this is not definitely better than the original green tea in terms of... Uh, like the smell or the performance everywhere this is still the boss the original is still the boss okay for me absolutely masterpiece 10 this one i'll give a solid 8 for what it is for the price bracket i think it's quite pretty for ladies you can give it a try and perhaps you'll like it too thanks for watching now coming to the major video which is going to be a top 20 fragrance list okay hopefully you enjoy that and happy holidays once again take care